drop, pen and drop. All right, since you brought up the Cuban link situation, right? Yeah. Okay, that's another thing. Yeah. Now, if one side, like, say Cuban has said, like, oh, yeah, I'm down to talk to Joe and whatnot. I'm down to, mm -hmm. to, uh, to have a mm -hmm. real conversation about the situation. Mm -hmm. But Joe ain't giving it no rhythm. You know, he's not paying any mind. And, and mm -hmm. this man allegedly had your face cut. He done blackballed you all this time. It's hard, mm -hmm. bro. You know what I mean? Ideally, it would mm -hmm. be dope for hip hop. It would be dope for the Latino community and everything if these mm -hmm. brothers could put it behind them, right? But mm -hmm. it's like it's almost unrealistic to a certain extent. After but all this happened, like, like, but like Panda, like, if Pun never died, right? Do you really think that they would be like at each other's neck, like how they are? Well, if what Cuban is saying and a lot of other people are saying, the way Joe was with money, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, bro, he wasn't really paying people the way that he was mm -hmm. supposed to. He was greedy. He was doing other stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Some people believe that even if Pun was alive, they wouldn't be together. That it would have been like Cuban and Pun away from Joe. You know, I don't know. It, but you know, like, cause like when I looked at it, like, like you know, watching it back in the days, like watching them, like on the, the TV and just hearing stories. Like you would see, like, like the togetherness, like how they did music, and they—I'm not gonna lie—they did a lot of great music together. Absolutely, they did a lot of great. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like Cuban Link, like that, that telling lies to me record with him and Tony Sunshine, and then you know all the things that they did together, like on the Glamorous Life and 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 Don Cartagena and the Capital Punishment and the Terror Squad first album. Like right. they did so much dope things, like Prospect. The triple says and Armageddon, Pun, Joe, Tony Sunshine. Like they was like a great movement. Yeah, but and that's the sad thing is that they never got to live up to be to, you know, their uh, reach their potential. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Because ideally, I think the the uh real fan would want them to have stay together mm -hmm. or to squash it today. You know what I mean? But it's like, there's a lot of things that have happened that is real hard to forgive. Yeah. And I think that um, some people didn't have the purest intentions to begin with, because yeah. it's been well documented that Joe only wanted pun. He didn't want Sace. He didn't that want Cuban. That he didn't true. want, you know what I'm saying? That is true. And so that, that that's tough, bro. You know, but I think that I wish Mm -hmm. that Joe had came from a more pure place because I think that he could have benefited more in the long run. Cause think about how big of a powerhouse terror squad could have turned into mm -hmm. terror squad records. Right. Mm -hmm. If he put out all these successful projects, think about how many artists would have went and signed the TS after that. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah, it would have been a lot of people and, and they could have been a, yeah. a, uh, uh, uh a Latino rock nation or some shit like yeah, that. It you know what I'm saying? Like, it could have been, been a rock big. It could have been a rock. Yeah, it, it could have been a rock And it's sad because knowing how much that group meant to that community, specifically for Latinos, because of the representation, mm. it's like, bro, like they never got to see it really take off like that. And mm. how many lives were affected by that? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It's kind of sad though, you know, because mm. I really, you know, I really would have liked to see that. You know, like him and Joe, like, but I understand there's bloodshed, you know, blood been spilled and you can't take it back, man. Once blood is spilled, you know, it's nothing you can but do. But it's not just it. that, though. But it's like, if mm -hmm. you still making calls about me 20 some years later mm -hmm. when I'm trying to do a show and then the uh, the place that I'm trying to do the show at is getting a call saying, mm -hmm. yo, don't fuck with him. Mm -hmm. This just happened last year. In Miami, bro. So you know what I'm saying? Like it's like that's that's tough. That means that you're not letting me and my family eat then. Mm. Come on, bro. Like that's that's where it's like at some point mm -hmm. because people can beef, but that don't mean that you gotta stop somebody from eating too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But but I, but you know what? Other people have done it. Fifty's done it. Jay's done it. Yeah. Right. So it does me, I'm gonna say this. Jay Z. I'm gonna say this on your platform. Jay Z is the biggest black bowler, though. Yeah, I've heard that. I'm not gonna lie. He did that to Charlemagne. Charlemagne got fired. He did that to Charlemagne. Right? Look, everybody he beefed with signed him. Fat Joe, Jim Jones, <laughs> The Locks. Right. Everybody that's beefed with Fifty, like Fifty said, they signed him. But everybody that's beefed with Jay Z has signed to Jay Z. Mm. 
It's almost like if you can't beat them, you got to join them. You got to join them. Like, look, Rock, Fat Joe went to Rock Nation. Jim Jones went to Rock Nation a lot. Like, these are guys right. that dissed them on records. And they the only the person that hasn't gone pretty much is Cam. It's Cameron. Yeah, Cameron is <laughs> right. 50 Cent. Cameron is But Cam Cent. made up with him, though. He made up. He didn't make up with him. Yeah. He made up. But look, like you said, Panda, Cameron and 50 Cent never signed to Rock Nation. These guys literally went to sign the Rock Nation. And 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 he, let's keep it real. He's blackballed these guys. Yeah. Because Joe, he finally had to make that move because he wasn't eating like he 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 was supposed Come to. On. But look at it. After he joined Rock Nation, right? Mm -hmm. How much more famous has he become after he joined Rock Nation? He, come on, he's he's everywhere. He, Fat Joe's everywhere. When you on shows with old white ladies and stuff, you know you reached a different level of fame. Come bro. on. Like, Come on. You know? <laughs> Come on. Like, bad goes everywhere. Like, he's everywhere. I know. That shit's crazy. It's crazy. But that just shows you the power that Jay-Z has when it comes to black boy. But I'm not going to lie, though. I'm going to say this. I want to say this because if you have Cuban on here next time, right? Can Cuban please, 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 Cuban, did Jay-Z get hit upside the head with the bottle by Big Buck? <laughs> I'm, no. Because, listen. I think he denied that. I think he, he said denied that didn't it. Happen. But every time I hear the story, right? Because a lot of people say, I heard 50 Cent said it. I heard Nori said it. I heard I've heard conflicting said. information about that situation. They all said that Jay Z, because everybody say the story. They say Jay Z was running for his life from Terror Squad. Wait a minute. You was just talking about Jay Z getting channels clipped. Now you're trying to get my channel clipped. No, no, we're not talking I'm about Jay. Okay? No, 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 we're not talking about him. Right? Shout out to Jay Z. Right. We're not going to do that. <laughs>